experience a community therapy session, I would like to take five minutes, about five minutes, to talk a little bit about it before we actually go into it, saying it is a method that was developed empirically by this teacher I told you about, Adalberto, who is the psychiatrist, anthropologist. He developed it with a favela in Brazil, which are our what you call here townships, I guess. Clap your hands, stamp your foot, and come into the group. But you need to shake somebody's hand. But you need to pull somebody's hair. But you need to pull somebody's hair. Um, communities may have lots of difficulties, problems, trauma is there. But communities have a lot of resources, a lot of uh, wealth that they, we, they can uh, connect to. And when they connect to, it really empowers the community and brings people together. He created it in a way that the application of it is very simple so that it made it possible to train people that are not psychologists or health professionals, especially people that uh, live in the community, to continue with it so that it could expand. It's in all the Brazilian states now. We have around 30,000 community therapists trained in Brazil now. And now it became part of the primary health care system. It's one of the methods. But it began, it started as a um, grass, from grassroots. The main purpose of it is to connect people. So it is building and strengthening ties of solidarity in the community. It's helping people to really identify with each other and connect in a good way because then many solutions, creative solutions, begin to arise. And it is the method that really helped me to connect with favelas in Brazil and different communities in different places. Show, 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 show.